final year of his uh, rookie contract. And I'm not even sure where the rumors of his departure from Baltimore came from, but he tweeted, I love my Ravens. I don't know who the hell put that false narrative out there that I'm having thoughts about leaving. Stop trying to read my mind. I I'm not even sure that I heard anyone saying that. was actually it. the lesson I learned on that tweet when I saw it. I was like, well, don't, never address a rumor because I never heard it, and now I know about it. So He's reading his mentions. <laughs> yeah, he dispelled a rumor that we yeah. didn't even know existed. That's the bottom line of it is you were just at the owners' meetings yeah. talking to a lot of people. What are people saying about Lamar Jackson at this moment not having a contract beyond this year in Baltimore? Yeah, Mike, the sense I get is that the Ravens are, are ready to do a deal. They're ready to get this done, and it's really on – Lamar Jackson's time at this point. I was told he's focused on training and, and the football side of this, and he just doesn't want to deal with the contract. Now, it's important to remind viewers that, that he is representing himself, or at mm -hmm. least his mom is, is part of his management team as he's going about this process. And for right now, the Ravens are just waiting. And, of course, there's a lot of options on the table that I'm sure we're going to get through in a minute here. Absolutely. So, Mike Tannenbaum, let me come to you on this quickly as, as the former general manager because you have an interesting perspective on this. In a world in which, generally speaking, quarterbacks want their contracts as quickly as possible, Kyler Murray jumps immediately to mind trying to get his new deal after just three years. How has it worked out for Lamar Jackson to exercise this level of patience so far? Greeny, he's a great player, and he's a Hall of Fame agent. And as Diana just alluded to, he's representing himself. <laughs> he made $80 million in the last few days by waiting. His stoic approach is unbelievable. Deshaun Watson, as you alluded to, signed a fully guaranteed contract at $230 million. Lamar Jackson walks in and says, Mr. Bashadi, I love being a Raven. The good news is I don't want a million, a dollar more. Look at this graphic. I don't want a dollar more than this market. But guess what, Mr. Bashadi? I'm not going to take a dollar less. So you could franchise me next year, which is fine. Who knows what that number is going to be? It was $30 million. That's going to skyrocket. So by him waiting, he has made an unbelievable amount of money. And being at the league meetings as well, here's what's going around the league. Everybody is watching this deal, Greeny, because if he signs a Deshaun Watson contract, that's the new normal. If it goes back to what it looks like with Dak Prescott, Patrick Mahomes, the Browns will be an outlier. And there's so many good young quarterbacks from Kyle Murray, Russell Wilson, Joe Burrow. Justin Herbert, that will all be looking at extensions in the next 12 months. The eyes of the football world are centered on this negotiation. Have we mentioned Lamar Jackson mm -hmm. just turned 25? I mean, he's an incredibly yeah. young player. I, I don't. I, I assume you've played against him directly. Right? Played, I haven't. Yeah, I'm fortunate that I haven't played against him. Okay, directly. so you did. Yeah. What is your perspective <laughs> on all of this and Lamar Jackson and his place in this puzzle? I love leverage Lamar. That's what he's doing right now, and he's doing it in a really classy, subtle way. He's a smart football player. He's a smart negotiator. He's doing a bunch of negotiating without having to even open his mouth. The Ravens have a ton of picks this year. We talk about investing in, in Lamar, and I don't think they've done that sufficiently. Just throwing stuff at the wall and hoping it sticks is not uh, you know, a strategy that's going to keep me in Baltimore if I'm Lamar. What do you Show, mean by that? You know, I mean, Bateman, you know, some of these receivers, Hollywood Brown, they're really good players, right? But he hasn't had that one game changer. And the running back situation was terrible last year. Their free agency signings, it was like the, the, the second pass at veterans that didn't get jobs elsewhere. I, I look at this and I say, Kirk Cousins, what you saw with him, who do you think his biggest fan is right now? It's Lamar. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see Lamar bet on himself. He also doesn't get hit hard. Well, that's what I was going to he, he gets hit more but often he doesn't than get any hit other hard. quarterback. He doesn't get hit hard. You know, football players watching games know this. Like, he knows when to get down. He knows when to get out of bounds. He's the guy that carries the ball the most and, get, and is the least sore on a Monday. I've never seen him get up slow before last year. Mm -hmm. So, like, I totally get the, the, you know, risking injury thing. But it's, it's a pretty penny to bet on yourself now with the franchise tag. And maybe we'll see Lamar in somewhere fun like Miami. Go back home or something in 2025. Interesting. Wow. Teddy, what is your perspective? Lamar Jackson really seems to hold a lot of cards right now in Baltimore and I suppose throughout the entire league. Yeah, Lamar and his mom, they don't mess around. <laughs> <laughs> Representing himself the way he does, I think he, he's got some great things going for him. And the one thing is that number that you said, and that's 25 years old. I'm 25 years old. And by the way, I just saw Deshaun Watson get all that money guaranteed. So him and his mom are like, well, let's just pause a little bit, you know, so play the waiting game. I will say this, though. 
Lamar Jackson in Baltimore is is a perfect partnership to me on how they 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 learn to use him, the relationship, how Lamar is just seamless. That, that offense is so perfect with Lamar Jackson in it. They know exactly how to use him, and he's a part of an organization now that they build, they draft well. I, I would want to stay there if I were Lamar. I know he wants to stay there, judging by his tweet. But still, if you got to play the game and you got to wait to get what you deserve. I mean, the patience he has because of how young he is. Yeah. I literally have 10 seconds. Is the expectation that he will have a new deal before the season yes, starts? Yes, that is expectation. And guys, let's remember, since 2016, since Kirk Cousins played on the franchise tag, he's made the most money than any other player in the NFL. The tag isn't so bad. Yeah, and once upon a time, Joe Flacco, a Baltimore quarterback, bet on himself and made himself, at, for a moment, the richest quarterback in the sport. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.